7 Essentials of Email Design. Hi, this is Andrew, creator of Flow Email Marketing Agency, as well as this YouTube channel. And in today's video, I would like to show you and walk you through seven essential elements of email design. I will show you different examples from different company emails that I received from different companies and explain you what they did great and where they need some kind of improvement and why. So number one, the top part of your email is the logo. And for this example, I'll use a magic spoon email. So here's a magic spoon that they doing great job. It's very simple. Sometimes, as you can see, half of the cereal they put here, but it's very like clean. It's small. It does not attract a lot of attention, but it gives us the branding so we can see the logo, who they are and so forth. However, if I switch to their next email and this is a big no, no, no. However, it might work because it's kind of transactional emails. You see track order and us versus them. Why I'm saying this is a bad example? Because we do not want to add any additional call to action. So this is call to action number one, call to action number two, and people can click here. It's not real call to action, but people typically click on the logo. So that's why we do not like to use this kind of a header. I would rather remove this so people can scroll and click on the track order or us versus them if they want to convey that information. It's a great email, but if I care only about my order, I will click here or I click them us versus them so basically it's too much information in the header this email does not give me desire to scroll because too much information in the email like we always want to design like in this format so people are scrolling from top to bottom and with one call to action this email is perfect as i said like one logo very simple and additional point about the logo in the logo do not just put link to your homepage. Put the same link which you use for call to action. For example, if you use shop now or back to abandoned cart, use that link and add it to your logo. So number two is a tagline. Some brands uh, use a tagline under their logo. Some brands use a tagline in the bottom of the email. Some brands don't use tagline at all. But I'll show you example how, like how one company like does it the proper way. It's very simple and like well designed. So the company is Roosevelt's and this is their email. This is the latest email I received from them. And their tagline, as you can see here at the bottom, there are many things. It's well designed and well placed in the email. So it does not obstruct or does not break email weirdly. It's in a flow and so it's correctly placed and work uh, perfectly. So the third component is a hero image. A lot of people asking me, how can I design like 50 emails, 60 emails? And like for all those flows, uh, recently we released our new course, uh, Customer Lifecycle, where we include, I believe, 10 different uh, flows and approximately 40 or 50 emails that person needs to design to cover all flows and all emails and people ask me like how can I design so many emails and the advice we give them do not design each email as a unique email create one template and just design the hero image so here's the image of the training mass brand as you can see they have one template every email looks the same like almost exactly the same but the copy is different call to action is different but what they really design and change is this here image. So first of all, it will save you a lot of time. And second, it will keep your emails simple and consistent. So number four is the body of your email. So where you put all of your copy. The great example is a hydrant and I will show you. Yes. So here's their email. As you can see, even they do the, the one here image. And this is, oh, they also have the footer. So. In this case, they need to do two image design. But what I said in the previous point about hero images, we highly recommend to start with one because it will add you a lot of work already. <laughs> and in the future, you can revise and maybe add more images. But anyway, they do the nice layout. I like their um, title, great title some copy and everything well laid out and very clear not too much text and also a nice space between paragraphs and an additional thing i like that they have one cta 
Remember when I said on the first part about Magic Spoon where they had few options in their header? In Hydrant, as you can see, clear logo, hero image, one call to action, clear call to action, and here's another one. I mean, it will direct me to the same things, but it's it's very clear as you can see it, like this structure, you see? And even if I scroll down, it's the structure. So it's, it, it's very clear and it drives you from one part of your email to the next one. It's very clear design and nicely layout and easy for eyes. Text is not too small, not too big, not too like um, formatted correctly. I like this email a lot. So number five is a product carousel. It's optional. You don't have to do it, especially if you don't have many products. However, I'll show you uh, how it's done and give you some example. So here's a brand sport edit and they have a big images, which is totally fine for their brand because they they're visual. But as you can see, they have on, on running and they show you different kind of brand products. So they show you the a jacket then shorts uh, then uh, sneakers and there's another like few other sneakers and if you use a software like Clavio or, or any other software that dynamically pull product which shows on your shopping behavior your conversion will be much 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 higher because person will see the product they most likely to buy okay number six is store category i know a lot of brands like to include store categories like let's say uh, your sports store and like shoes pants um, t-shirts and so forth in the top of the email but remember email is not a website you don't have to have navigation menu in the top of the email and it's one of the mistakes i covered in the video about email design mistakes so the video was called five email design mistakes i strongly recommend for you to go and watch it it's very short watch but if you watch it you will like stop like doing those mistakes if you're doing them uh, or it's just a checklist like for you okay are we doing those or not and i explain why those are mistakes i'll show you an example about store category and the right placement so here's design public uh, company as you can see they have a shop our favorite and this is their like store categories and it's not included in the top so person have to scroll and see it here and also i want to show you the P pottery barn another furniture brand and they doing the great job as well at the bottom they show you see bestseller bedding pillows and so forth so those are categories but they are in the bottom of the email and um, yeah and this is to my previous uh, point the product carousel you see recommended just for you so i'm not sure what software they use however i think those were pulled based on my purchase behavior or my browsing behavior which is i mean it's ai artificial intelligence but it's it's very cool and um, it will help your a store get more money and more conversions more sales number seven is the social cta each footer it's not might not be as effective that each person will click on it however it's a standard you need to include uh, social icons so person can easily find you if somebody wants to follow you on instagram and they do not know your instagram it's a uh, second nature right now just scroll down to the footer to click on Instagram or any other social media they want to follow on. I will show you here a few examples. So here's Barucos, Barucos brand, and this is how they show Discover the healthiest nuts in the world. I believe this is their tagline. And simply they have just two social icon and we can follow them on Instagram or Facebook. Another example, training mask does it the right way as well. Oh, in training mask, I want to point out that they doing the carousel for Instagram. And if I click here, I supposed to go to the Instagram page. Yes, this is correct. So I like not just they don't show just an icon. Oh, sorry. They showed icon right here. However, in addition to the icon, they show visual like what's going on on that specific social media. And I believe they want to drive majority of their traffic to Instagram. That's why they show snapshots from Instagram here. Okay. And the last one is design public right here. So yeah, just simply follow us and they doing the same thing. GIF of their 
Instagram images and it's just visually appealing and you want to click on that. And the bonus tip number eight, I know I didn't say that in the beginning of the video, I, but I just saw the great example on Pottery Barn and I would like to mention it. So if you do some kind of promotion, let's say uh, months of discounts or months, let's say you trying to promote your uh, loyalty program or you're trying to promote your uh, app design what you can do is like in a pottery, pottery pottery barn sorry it's hard to pronounce for me as you can see at the bottom earn 10 percent back so they basically cross promote or just promote their gift uh, sorry their credit card and they include this banner probably in all of their emails so let's say if you're promoting your loyalty program you can add the banner to all of your email ezra firestone <laughs> unofficial uh, e-commerce king, king uh, he called it ps banner and he uses for his uh, cindy boom by cindy joseph uh, i believe a brand and yeah so he also includes that ps banner to his emails i hope it helps if you have any additional questions or ideas about email design blogs, please leave them under this video. And also, if you are new on this channel and not subscribed yet, please subscribe. It helps us, our channel, to grow. And yeah, if you like the video, click like. And again, leave your questions below. I'm checking them daily and responding in a few days or sooner. So yeah, I would like to answer your questions. Thank you. Bye.